Hello, I'm Al Holtham. Welcome to my workshop. I'm going to show you the Trend Varijig system for guiding a variety of different power tools. You can use it with your router, your jigsaw, or your circular saw. There are five different Varijig components, but they can all be bought and used independently. However, you can interchange the parts if you want to mix and match your own variations. Let's start with the frame system, which is an adjustable guide to help you cut squares or rectangles with your router. So for instance, you can use straight cutters to cut recesses or apertures, or molding cutters to produce decorative panel doors. The jig consists of four extrusions each of which is fitted with both metric and imperial measuring scales. You also get the jointing brackets, fixing screws and an anti-tilt shoe. To put it together, fix a jointing bracket to the end of one extrusion using a couple of the T-nuts and screws. Then slide a couple more of the T-nuts into the opposing extrusion and lightly tighten these up. Repeat the procedure for the other three corners. You should then end up with a frame like this. We can adjust to any size up to a maximum of 24 inches by 24. You can now run your router around the inside of the frame using a guide bush that needs to be at least 5 16 of an inch long. But you'll see that the router tends to tip as you move it along the frame, which is why you get the anti-tilt shoe. Fix this to the underneath of the router. You'll see it's the same thickness as the frame. And now the router is perfectly stable. There's no danger of it tipping. To use the Varijig, just set it to the size you want, check it for squareness, and then lock up the sliding screws. Now you have a couple of options for clamping it onto the work. You can use standard quick action clamps, but in some cases these can actually obstruct the router as you move around the cut. So as an option extra you can buy a couple of these friction clamps and these just slide into the underside of the extrusions. They can be positioned anywhere and then locked up and now there is nothing to interfere with the path of the router. Use a straight cutter to form an insert like this one for a router table. Or you can cut right through for a vent opening or for a sink bowl in a worktop. If you use a moulding cutter, the Varijig makes it dead easy to make decorative panel doors. So that's the Varijig frame. Now let's have a look at the other Varijig guides, starting with the straight guide. This is great for those really long cutting jobs. It consists of two separate extrusions, which can be used independently or joined together to give a maximum working length of 100 inches. Like the frame jig, you can fit the friction clamps to hold it in place and two are actually supplied with the guide. You don't have to buy them separately. And these will grip material up to one and a quarter inches thick. You can use this guide with your router. It's probably most useful for long cuts with either a circular saw or a jigsaw. For worktops, or for narrow work, there's the 900mm worktop jig. Again, this is supplied with two sliding clamps. For this time, they'll grip up to two inches thick. And this guide can be used again with a router or with a saw. The very jig angle guide allows you to offset the arm of the jig within a 150 degree angle range. You can set the angle with absolute precision because the tolerance is actually 0.2 an inch, which I think is pretty good. You can also zero the scale if need be. There are preset locations at all the common angles and you can lock these up using this little brass screw. For any intermediate angles use the main locking handle. 
You can also adjust the position of the bar on the stock if you're not using the full length of the bar and this helps minimise any leverage. If you're using a router, there's a full 36 inch working length This is the Vary jig, tenon and grooving jig. It's a really useful piece of kit. Use it for all sorts of applications. The edge of the frame can be used as a guide to cross cut boards with a saw or trim with your router. And here you can work up to 16 inches wide. Alternatively, work inside the frame with a guide bush in the router to produce grooves and dados. Just widen it out to suit the width of groove you want. There are a couple of sliding stops to set the groove length. And if you want a full length groove, screw on a spelch block so you can machine right through. For tenoning, just set the frame arms wider apart and machine away the waist in between. You'll end up with perfect tenons with nice square shoulders. So that's just a brief look at the Rarijig guide system. As you've seen, it's very quick to set up and easy to use with a variety of different power tools. I really like it, as perhaps you'll gather. I'm Alan Holtham. Till next time, bye bye for now.